Welcome, Rabbit here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mine Raptorium on your CPU in Windows 10 and Hive OS. Welcome everyone. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, thumbs up button, as well as the bell notification to be notified for future videos. So here we are, Raptorium, CPU mining algorithm, and I'm going to show you how to mine it in Windows 10 as well as Hive OS. First up, you are going to have to go to their website, raptorium.com, just to check out everything they do have about it. They have a bunch of stuff about the coin, how it's ASIC and FPG resistant, and all sorts of other things. We'll go into this in a different video about exactly what this coin is. Here you can also see their roadmap as well as other exchanges that currently uh, that you can trade Raptorium on. There's a few more that aren't on this list yet, Trade Ogre being one of them. So let's scroll up here. The first thing you are going to have to do is actually go into downloads here. And just like every other coin, you are going to need a wallet. So just go to downloads, click on wallet, and it will bring you to the wallet download page. Once you get to the download page, you're going to have to pick which version you actually want. Myself, I went with the Windows zip file, 64 bit. So I just download that one, extract it, and that will bring you to your wallet folder. Extract it wherever you want. We'll go to file here, find my wallets. Here's my wallets and Raptorium like so. Close this up and then I'm going to open up my wallet and here you can see once it's extracted it'll start opening once it finally loads up here. It will have to download the blockchain because it's like running the complete blockchain on it currently. So it's kind of a, it's a little different wallet. You will not have your initial uh, encryption codes and everything like everything else is just going to load up off the dat file to create it we're going to go into a little more detail here soon once this thing finally does load there we go it's loading up now you can see i am about 10 days behind on loading this actual blockchain so it's at about 76.27 percent so once this is actually done loading then we'll come back to this and i'll show you where to go from this point forward again uh, if you're downloading it right now you're going to have to download the complete blockchain you can hide it if you want like so but then you're out of sync and well i guess if you don't have anything you can start mining everything but i am just going to wait for the complete blockchain to download before i do go any further you know what guys cancel that we can continue to keep going on without waiting for it to download so you can actually be up and running you just will not see any payments until you actually do sync up all the way to the latest block of your current mining so you can come in here it loads up just like this there's no uh seed phrase or anything not yet you can have that it does have its wallet dat file so if you go back in here xla kind of runs the same way scala so where is my wallets here we're going to go my wallets back to raptorium and here's your wallet dat file right here now you can copy that put it inside uh, like a usb drive or something same thing with scala kind of put them together make sure you label it something that you want it to stay as so you can tell them apart but that way you can actually save your wallet that way on a usb drive or something lock it away in a safe whatever you want to do with it but you do have your dat file there you can also encrypt it by going into it's here somewhere settings so encrypt wallet when you go to encrypt wallet that's when it'll start giving you your uh, phrases and everything just like a normal wallet to save it in that way it is encrypted on your uh, system I have yet to do that but I am gonna do that soon probably after this video just so you guys can't see any of my phrases or anything and steal all my crypto so in order to start mining obviously you need your receive address if you've done all that if you encrypted it or not yet it doesn't matter come straight in go to receive now you're going to want to label as you can see i labeled mine cpu mine so you're going to go here you're going to go test this out yes so test this out yes see i just put that in there uh we're not doing anything you don't need any message now you're just going to go request payment and that will give you your wallet address i'll just do it right now here's your wallet address for that payment so you'll just copy the address and that will be my new address for actual when it comes to mining and everything and it will be saved down below as you can see it is right here so you still have this address right here you're good to go again i can show you my address here here it is there's my address url i can click on that do whatever i want but i can copy my address that is the currently current one i am using so that's how you make your address you don't need to do anything else done set it to whatever you want your address called like i said cpu miners these are my cpu mining addresses here so I'm good to go you put that in your pool now we'll move on to your actual miner next up you are going to need your miner so again we're back to the raptorium.com website now i normally i would have all the links below for you but i don't know what youtube likes and doesn't like anymore so i'm sorry but 
You're going to have to go to this yourself. Just Google Raptorium.com and obviously it'll pop up. Again, I'm sorry for that. So you just go to Downloads here, CPU Miner, click on that, and that will take you to CPU Miner Download. I'm not using this one myself, but I do plan when I do actual testing to use it. I'm using the R Plant Pool one, which is what I'll be using for the setup and everything for you guys. But this is their main one, which has auto tuning and everything built into the miner. So you'll just go to CPU Miner, Windows 7, right here, or Windows.7Z. Do that, unzip it, and go through that. But that's if you want to test that one out. Again, I'm using our plant, so I'm going to go through this one here. You just click on here, click on connect at their our plant pool when you're in here. See our plant for details, and here we are. CPU miner, opt windows. This is the miner I am currently using. Click on that, download it, and extract it. Once that is extracted, then here you have all your files from that miner. All right, here you can see this is a little different. You won't have this. This is the other miner I currently showed you that you can get. It will work on this pool as well. And it also has a tuner involved into it. If you go to the README here, you can see full tuning. Time takes about 115 minutes. And then it also has pre made profiles, tune presets. Now, these are based on other user settings. And the reason why I'm not using them myself, I will test them when I do uh, the efficiency tests and stuff later on. But uh, it has every processor and everything. But these are user settings. And that's based on people that usually do that are basing their max amount of hash rate. Same with GPUs. Everyone goes max amount of hash rate. I like to tune for efficiency, which is why I'm keeping my same settings I always do use. I'll just show you right quick here. I do in manual mode. I always run 3.6 across the board on the 3900X at 1 volt. And that is just what I run. I find it more efficient. Once you start overclocking a CPU, they start to run very inefficient. Again, I do not know about Raptorian so we will be doing efficiency tests later on hopefully this week possibly early next week to see exactly what type of tuning we do need for that and I'm just gonna jump right back into my Raptorium miners here scroll down and here we have Raptorium tests which I have set up right here scroll down now you can go into the R plant pool here I'll show you right now once you have your config file kind of open here then you can go into the actual R plant website or their pool site put in all your information so windows america depending where you're from north pacific russia whatever put in your address which is what you get from your wallet just by simply going into where we went to the receive here here is mine and then we show it copy it that is your address you paste that into there and then you put in the name of your worker optional difficulty if you would like and then your optional password now you are going to want to put a password if you want to set your default minimum payment later on so as you can see here optimal password put a bunch of gobbledygook and then you can see it puts in the command minus p password equals whatever i just put in so i'm just gonna get rid of that there so it gets rid of it now you can see but if you click here you are going to need this to set your password you can run it manually in your config if you would like so you just copy that parameter but it's a lot easier if you just throw it in right here now you're going to put that password that you put in there. Once your workers do show up, it'll show what the password and everything. You put that password here, set it, and then you can set your minimal payout. Once you actually do do that with your payout and everything, you can get rid of that command prompt inside your config, Raptorium. So like it would be back here. It'd be your space slash P whatever. Gobbly gobbly goop. Actually, there'd be a space right there. But once you're done, then you can just delete this, rerun your miner, and you're good to go. It'll get rid of that. No, I don't want to save. I don't want to close it either. So it'll get rid of that, and then everything is set, and you can just run it default. Now, before you actually start it, depending on your CPU, once you copy this whole command right here in, so these two do match up. I'll show you right now. Scroll back. So here you can see your start miner C S S E two. That would have was here originally. I'm using a 3900X, it's a Ryzen. So I do have to change that. Inside your miner, you can see the separate ones you can use. So SSE42, SSD, whatever. You're gonna to wanna to copy the name of the miner you do wanna use. Again, I'm using the Ryzen 3900X. So I'm using CPU miner dash Ryzen. And now you can see right here, CPU dash Ryzen to run that actual one. Again, you're gonna run wanna run everything as admin mode. I recommend always running everything as an administrator. Uh, you can set your dedicated threads. If you do not set any threads, it will automatically just put in all threads. So I'm gonna run mine right quick so you can actually see. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. So you can see minor thread priority is set to zero. 24, 24 minor threads use. This is a 24 thread, 12 core processor. So it automatically just ramps them all up. If you do notice that it is not using all your threads, 
in Ryzen Master, it might have some sleeping. You will have to put in the command, which I'll show you in a second. Here we have a quick thread to command. So again, I have 24 threads on the CPU. So I just go dash dash thread space 24, and that will grant 24 threads on my CPU. But again, if you have it at nothing, it will use all the threads that your CPUs do have to offer. So I just leave it as is and everything is fine. Once you do have all that done, then you can just make your shortcut and bam, double click goes to admin mode and there we are we're ready to mine it is starting to mine right so now it only takes like not even a minute this is really fast updating as soon as you start throwing out a couple shares and your pool detects you your rig will fire up right away so check the pool put your address in here check all your workers make sure you are synced up with the pool so you know you're not mining to someone else or some bad address or something and you're good to go you are now mining raptorium in windows now, for my Hive OS friends out there, you're gonna wanna click on your farm, but before you get into this, you click on your farm. Here you'll see all your rigs up. You're gonna wanna set up your flight sheet, but before even that, you're gonna need your wallet. So again, like everything else, you're gonna have to add your wallet. I already have one, so this is just to show you how to do it. Type in coin, so RTM, that is Raptorium. Enter our wallet address, copy that in there. Again, whatever video name, video, <laughs> whatever name you prefer, like so in there. Hit create, done, your wallet is set up. Now you're gonna have to make yourself your flight sheet. So here I see my flight sheet, I'm gonna go to coin, I'm gonna go RTM, right quick. We're gonna go into our wallet, Raptorium, it's I already have mine made. And we're gonna need our pool, I used our plant. And then we gotta pick uh, North America, that is the closest for me. Always pick the closest server you have. And then our miner, again, the exact same miner we had, boom. You are all done. Create your flight sheet and you are good to go. Now we are inside here. I'm just going to show you my complete flight sheet as my Ryzen rigs are with four gigabyte cards, which I currently threw on Ravencoin. So we're going to go to my flight sheet here. We're just going to quickly edit it so you can kind of see the layout of mine. Again, RTM, Raptorium, R plant, then CPU miner dash opt, and then add another miner here. Now I'm mining Ravencoin on my other single GPU that's on this rig just for display purposes. So we're going to set up our minor config. Everything is auto. It all sets it all by itself. You're good to go. If you have any issues, make sure you go into your setup minor config. You are going to need make sure it's on the Ghost Rider RTM algorithm. And how that actually works, you are going to notice a few things like hash rate fluctuations. Let me just run into my rigs here. So here we are. You can see we're doing 1800 or 1 1.8 kilo hash right now. 1800 hashes. And it could vary anywhere from... 850 hashes all the way up to like four or five thousand hashes now how the ghost rider algorithm works it's kind of like kapow for ravencoin but it has about nine different type of algorithms and it swaps between them all so you're going to notice your hash rates fluctuate all around the place but don't worry it has nothing to do with your cpu nothing to do with that some people were curious about ravencoin and discord the other day uh, of why the hash rates jumping around well that is why it's like a whole bunch of little algorithms inside the main algorithm and it keeps bouncing it back between them all and that's what does keep it resistant to a6 fp f uh, fpgas and uh, other things for that algorithm so, so that's how, how it works so be clear of that be mindful look we just jumped up to two kilo hash so it must have changed to another one but you will notice fluctuations and everything so just be wary of that don't worry about it and my la is pretty high right now not sure what's going on but that's all right well there we have it guys i hope this helped you get up and running in raptor Again, I do plan on doing the nice efficiency testing and see exactly what some nice optimal settings for this coin is for th at least 3900X CPUs, whether overclocking, XMP profiles on the RAM and everything play much of a factor within power and hash rate and hash to watt ratio. I like to maximize the hash to watt ratio because efficiency is what we need for crypto mining. Again, thank you everyone for watching. Please, if you have any questions at all, just ask away in the comments below or on the Discord as well, which is in the description. Link is there. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Rabbit out. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider watching one of these other videos, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button. We do a live stream every Sunday, and Discord link is in the description as well. Thanks, everybody, again, and Rabbit out.